Coaster Crazy 10 from Score Hero, and I'm going to show you how to uh, customize your Guitar Hero archive. Um, I'm going to teach you how to import songs, both the chart and the uh, MP3 or whatever sound file you have. And I'm going to show you some basic DTB editing. Uh, this is pretty useful, it helps you edit the text in the game. So let's get started. Uh, what you're going to want to do is download Guitar Hero Explorer. You go to scorehero.com and uh, it's on the forums. It's under the software sub forum. Um, you can download that for free. I've already imported my archive to Guitar Hero Explorer. You'll have to rip this off your uh, DVD. Well, actually, you want to copy it from your DVD. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up songs. I want to replace, say, Bathroom Wall. And I open this up. And this is the mid. I've already replaced um, all the songs in this archive, so it should go pretty fast. But I'm going to show you how to replace this mid file. Now, I'm going to replace it with Learning to Live, I'm sorry, by, so by Dream Theater. And I just went to uh, scorehero.com, custom songs, browse database. Let's see. And I search. Dream Theater, and it comes up with all the Dream Theater stuff. Um, I'm going to download Learning to Live, so I'm going to come over to here. This link says download, and it'll automatically give me the save file address. Download file, download file now, save to disk. All right, now it's saved it to my desktop. Oh my so, God, go all right, I'll go away. I want to import it, so right click import learning to live on the desktop um, and this one already comes with a bass track so it's already mapped it so just press OK and it'll import um, this process will take a lot longer if you have a uh, if you just started editing your archive um, it, it shouldn't take that long if you have a decently fast computer it'll take a couple minutes if you have it on your hard disk alright so I've got the chart in here. Um, but these notes here kind of, um, they should probably be hammer-ons. It's at 140 beat per minute, eighth notes. I'd like those to be hammer-ons, so we will change that as well. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to replace the VGS file, which is just an audio file. Right-click, add. Um, I'm going to say Dream Theater. I'm using words. There we go. Okay, so I got the audio file. Double-click, now, um, what you want to see here is you got, uh, it says target there, you've got track 0 and 1, it says it's banned. So you want to set uh, track 0 to 0 channel 0 left, and track 1 to 0 channel 1 right, and then hit OK. Um, the 0 and 1 tracks are the band tracks, the 2 and 3 tracks are the guitar tracks. Um, if you happen to have a guitar track, a separate guitar track for your uh, music file, um, you can add another file and put it in the guitar track spot. And um, that basically allows you to, uh, like if you miss a note, it'll cut that track off. Or if you whammy, it'll um, distort that track. But don't put your uh, MP3 on that on those tracks only because it'll distort your mp3 when you uh, whammy and if you miss a note it'll cut out completely um, and I've heard complaints of it being like really choppy when you load it up um, so yeah definitely make sure you change it to the zero and one track um, almost done creating the VGS it'll have to um, replace it um, it's going pretty fast here so we're looks like we're almost done with replacing this song. Alright, so you want to click on the folder directory here, um, and I'm going to bring it down so you can see it, uh, and we're going to play, I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. So, this is just to make sure that it syncs right. Um, most tracks need um, some kind of uh, delay and this one needs a delay it started right there um, and the notes are down here so um, 
I'm gonna look. It says it has a 2,000 millisecond delay here on Score Hero, um, but I'm gonna just verify that, and I'm gonna use a program called Feedback. Um, I have this downloaded already. Um, it's pretty easy to learn. Uh, great charting tool. Actually, I'm gonna close that out for a second so it doesn't crash. I'm gonna put this uh, chart that I just downloaded in a folder called songs. See, I already got it there. Um, I also want to open up a program called Audacity and file open. I'm going to open the same um, file. Uh, and this program basically lets you analyze the sound waves. Um, I'm not real big on that, but it helps if you if you don't get a um, an offset on Score Hero, it helps you can get an exact offset for your song so that it syncs up properly when you play. I will re-say everything. Um, I'm gonna highlight this part where it looks like first notes starting. So I'm gonna press play. Actually I'm gonna stop, press play. And I'm gonna wait for it to actually play the first guitar note and then I'm gonna press pause. Alright, so I have about the right place, so I'm going to zoom in on this spot, and you can see the waveform here. Uh, it looks like this is going to be the first part of the, uh, um, the first part of the note. So I'm going to move back a couple seconds and play, and I'm going to see if that's the right place. Alright, it is. So, I've got this point right there is the start of the song. Now what's cool about audacity is it can tell you the exact time um, the, the note is and here it says it starts at 13.383 milliseconds um, so remember that 13.383 now I'm gonna open up feedback and I'm gonna see where the first note lies on the chart so I'm gonna go load chart 08 learning to live. So you're going to surf for the first part and you get 14.929. Um, so I think I already wrote down, yeah, it's about 1.5 seconds or 1500 milliseconds. So my version of the MP3 was different than um, the version that the charter used. So, and you can see it's kind of dark right there is the number um, so I'm gonna use that information it's 1.5 milliseconds open up Guitar Hero Explorer again right click on the VGS import add same file now I'm gonna right click properties change the offset to 1500 that we just calculated press OK and then map the, the soundtracks again you'll have to do that and it'll create the uh, mp3 or the VGS for you